Hello, this is Julius from Basic Financials. Uh, today, I'm going to do a little video about pension pension scheme contributions. And um, if you have got an employment scheme, uh, so most people have these days. If you've not, if you weren't done before, you'll now be probably within an auto enrolment pension scheme. And um, there are lots of different ways that people that uh, companies do this. And you might want to know whether you are entitled to extra tax relief on your pension scheme contributions that have been taken out from your pay. Um, now, that's normally you'd think, well, if I'm a ba if I'm a forty percent taxpayer, I'm I'm entitled to um, higher rate tax relief on my pension scheme contributions, um, which is right. But you have to check out how it's been done. Now there are there are two basic ways that um, pension schemes, or pension contributions, will be deducted from your your salary. Um, some companies will take it from your gross pay, uh, so or your pay slip, which might show total pay, total salary, bonuses and then maybe even benefits and then it would take take off your pension scheme contributions and then that would then leave you with your taxable pay and your tax would then be worked out on your pay but having taken off the pension scheme contributions so effectively you're sort of instead of receiving salary You've, your employer has paid over pension scheme contributions to your pension scheme and you have therefore had all of the tax relief that you're entitled to within that deduction because your tax has been worked out after the pension scheme has been taken off. And it's only been worked out on your net of pension scheme contributions. So in those circumstances, you don't you don't get any extra tax relief. You don't need to include your, your you shouldn't include your pension scheme contributions within your within your um, tax return if you do one. Um, your you should take your P sixty figure for your salary because your P sixty figure will not in will will have already taken off the pension scheme contributions. It'll only show your taxable pay, which is your gross pay minus your gross pension contributions. Um, and then and then the P60 shows the net amount, which is what you put on your P60. You shouldn't put anything to do with your pension contributions unless you've added to it set totally separately outside of the payroll. You could you could put you might have put in an extra contribution yourself out of your own funds, in which case that would be different. That would be treated in a similar way to the, what I'm about to describe for the other way that auto enrolments are done. Um, so coming to the second way, other companies, for example, Nest, which is the um, national employment uh, one, that's the default one. If you haven't got, got other ones, there are the various types. There's People's Pension, there's Aviva, and um, there's not that many actually, but um, now pensions, I think, might do it. Um, but I know that Nest would, would, would do it differently. Um, and the, the other way is for the pension contributions to be taken off your net pay. So your pay slip will show your salary then it will, um, which would have, which would be also be your taxable pay. It would then d take off tax and national insurance, and then it'll leave you with a, a figure after that. And then it would take off your pension contributions. Um, now, when it's done like that, you normally have your pension scheme contributions deducted, uh, having had twenty percent tax relief already taken off a source. So, for example, if the pension contribution um, and your your rate would at the moment would be five percent under auto enrolment uh, of not necessarily your whole scheme pension scheme uh, your not necessarily your whole salary so don't worry if it doesn't tie up to five percent it's only within a certain band so um, uh, watch out for that um, but your pension contribution would be say it was a hundred pounds you'd actually have eighty pounds taken off your pay rather than 100 and then 80 pounds would go into your pension fund and then your pension fund would claim back 20 pounds tax relief um i.e the, the the basic rate tax relief at source so basically what you've had you've taken 80 pounds come off 
20 pounds have been claimed by your pension scheme. So that's your 20% tax relief, the gross 100, um, 20, 20 pounds um, tax relief claimed, 80 pounds you've paid in. On that other way, if your pension, the way I was saying it before, when it's taken off the gross, um, you would have had 100 pounds taken off your gross pay, 100 pounds would have been paid into your pension fund, and that's it. Um, so you're end, ended up with the same same amount in your pension fund, um, and you you would have had the tax relief, all of your tax relief. If you're a forty percent taxpayer, you would have had forty percent tax relief because it's come off your gross. And um, on this second way, because it's come off your net pay and you've had um, only basic rate relief, you pay tax on your full salary. Um, so what you would in those circumstances, if you're a if you're a 40% taxpayer, you would be wanting to put that the gross amount, i.e. the £100, the gross up, not the 80, the 80 plus the 20, you'd be putting down as your pension contributions, um, so that you would get an extra amount of tax relief, i.e. another 20%, um, um, through, through your tax return. So... And that is very similar to the way if you if you make an extra contribution to your pension fund out of your own funds and so nothing to do with the salary, if you did an additional contribution, um, you would want to be claiming back um, and not some more tax relief if you're a higher rate taxpayer. This is only applies if you're a higher rate taxpayer, because if you basic rate taxpayer, you've already had um, all the tax relief you're, you're entitled to under either scheme. But if you're higher rate, so if your income is more than, um, it's, it's about well, about 50,000, have a look if it's about 50,000. Um, if your income is more than that, that certainly was the the amount for uh, the end of 5th of April 21, it's gone up since then, but um, that's, a, that's a good guide roughly. Um, so if your income is more than that and you've got pension contributions, um, check it out. Um, now, uh, yeah, so if you pay, say say you decided to put in an extra £4,000 into your pension fund, out of your own funds, um, that would be treated as net of £1,000 tax relief at source. So you'd put 4000 in, your pension fund would claim another £1,000 grossed up, so the gross contribution would be 5000 and then you would put that on your tax return, that you've paid that extra amount, and you would be actually entitled to another £1,000 tax relief, because you're, if, you're, if you're a 40% taxpayer. Um, so that's cost you £3,000 to put £5,000 into your pension fund. Um, yeah, I think that's probably it. What I really wanted to concentrate on those auto-enrolment schemes, um, and whether you're entitled to extra tax relief if you're a 40% taxpayer. So remember, if it's taken off your gross, then that's it. You don't do anything more because you've had all the tax relief. If it's taken off your net pay and you've only paid the net contribution, uh, you've had the basic rate relief, but if you're a higher rate taxpayer, you would be entitled to more. So you'd want to be putting it in somewhere, maybe on your tax return or phoning up HMRC and or getting them to adjust it on your on your tax code, but probably tax return is the thing to do. Um, remember that if you've got children and you have child, you or your partner have child benefit, pension contributions can also bring your well, that you start paying the child benefit back at fifty thousand, and those pension contributions will the gross amount will reduce your pay down to down for those to that calculation. So it could bring your pay below the fifty thousand, so you don't end up paying back the child benefit. So there's lots of reasons for doing pension contributions. I've got other videos on pension contributions. What I really wanted to do was describe the tax relief and when you're entitled to extra. I'm going to leave it at that because I'm waffling now. Um, yeah, I uh, hope that's useful. And if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. And um, yeah, like and subscribe as usual, please. And thanks for listening. I'll see you again for another video soon.